Yo, what's going on guys? Chinese Cartoons here. Today I'm bringing you guys a little bit of a tutorial on how to give any character in a picture you want a sans eye. So as you can see on my screen right now, I have Tanjiro with the sans eye. Um, and yeah, this uh, tutorial is for Photoshop. However, you could apply some of these techniques and rules to any other photo uh, editing software. However, this is mainly a Photoshop tutorial. So if you don't have Photoshop, this might be a little bit more difficult, but uh, you should be able to apply some of these rules. So yeah, this is the desired effect that you want. Um, I've been doing this for about a year now, so I think I've gotten it down. So I just wanted to share uh, how I go through my process of doing this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a picture we want um, off of Google Images usually. Uh, you could import one off your computer. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do Ben 10. Um, so we're going to grab a picture of Ben 10. Uh, let's just find a really cool one that I like. Um, you want to make sure the resolution's nice. You know, it's a nice, uh, big enough picture so that it looks good enough. I kind of like this poster one. Uh, that looks really cool, actually. Yeah, we're going to bring this in. So you could always save the image as. However, what I usually do, if it's not a PNG, or, yeah, if it's not a PNG, I usually copy the image. Then I go into New. And then it should already, if you have Photoshop, already goes to the dimensions of the picture. So now that we have the poster in here, we're going to go... And we're going to select our character right here. And we're going to go in with this tool, the magic wand tool. That's what I call it. And we're going to make sure it's about the about right size. You don't want it too big. If it's too big, then you'll get some out. And you're going to select the white. Now, this selects like colors and similar stuff like that. So we're going to select the eye. Uh, and right now, you can see that I over selected a little bit with the eyebrow over there. So there you go. We have about a right amount selected. Uh, make sure you're on the default brush for this uh, step. And you're going to go to black. On the brush tool uh, if you don't want to do that go to the colors down here and make sure your first one is black we're gonna go to new layer in the bottom right over here we're just gonna click and make a new layer and we're just gonna color it in make sure your opacity is also turned up there you go and that gives them a pitch black uh, eye right there however you might see that it's a little bit spotty so what I usually do is I look for any white and I go in with a smaller brush usually about uh, like four or five pixels uh, let's do three because it's a really small picture and I just like to touch it up a bit uh, the closer to the edge of the brush the the weaker it will be so you could always use that to your advantage and just color in any areas that's white or really light around so it looks a little bit more blended in with the uh, the colors so yeah just keep doing this until you get your desired look um, you don't have to do this step this is just like something that I do when I'm doing my edits however I feel like it increases the quality of the picture a lot when you go through this extra step just to make sure it looks like perfect. So now that we zoom out now, it actually looks pitch black. Uh, and you could see little spots right there. Um, you know. But since we did this black on a new layer, we could always go in with an eraser tool and uh, turn down the opacity of it. And just go in a little bit and just blend everything in. You know, make sure it's all blended in with the picture around it. And once it's once you get your desired blending, uh, remember control Z if you um want to go back and just keep doing this till you get your desired look. Uh, just for tutorial sake, I'm going to stop right here. So once you have the black eye right there, that's pretty simple. You can zoom out, black eye, really simple, guys. Uh, we're going to zoom back in here, and we're going to hide the layer, all right? And you see his pupil right there? We're going to just grab a brush that's about the same size. Um, make sure you're on not on the hidden layer, so we're going to make a new layer down here. So just get the brush that's about the same size. Uh, I'm thinking that's about, what, like... 20 maybe 19 let's see no way less uh 13, 12 perfect i'm going to turn it down a little bit because when you use the brushes it kind of overdoes it a little bit so now we're gonna now that we have the eye the right uh size we're gonna go and grab a blue color this is the blue i usually use you can always just grab one from a picture of sands you have that would be more professional but for tutorial sake i'm just going to do a random blue color that i think looks close enough all right, so now that we have that, we're going to go on to our, the new layer we just made, and we're just going to go and color that in right there. So color it in. There you go. So now you should have a blue dot there. You can put black, uh, put back the black uh, little texture there, and there you go. So you should have a blue eye right there. Um, and you think we're done right now, but we actually have a lot more steps to go into. Uh, his blue is a little going into his eyebrow a little bit, so I'm just going to touch that up with the eraser tool right over here. Again, since it's on its own layer, you only will be erasing the blue. So that's why we do different layers and stuff like that. So that's what we have right now. And we're going to go back in. We're going to grab our eraser tool again. And we're going to make sure we're at max opacity. 
and we're going to make sure it's about actually that's perfect size. We're going to make sure it's about, you know, like in the just in the center, you want to erase a little bit. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, um, but you want it to be so that he has a little bit of a black area in the center of his eye. And why we're erasing it instead of actually um, just coloring over with black, you'll see in a second. Uh, but yeah, this is done right now. This is a good enough sans eye. That's a good enough edit. However, I think we can take it another step further. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is we're going to double click on the layer where we draw the blue. We're going to double click and this will open up its layer style. And we're going to click on outer glow. Now the outer glow is going to add a little bit of a glow to outside and since it's a uh, transparent background, uh, we're going to go to the color of this and we're just going to color pick that. And as you can see, that added a glow to the sans eye. Uh, and you can play around with these settings all you want to get your desired glow. You know, like spread and softness and range. And you'll eventually get um, something you're really happy with, hopefully. Um, and yeah, this is just to make the eye a little bit more believable. And as you can see, the glow, it really just stands out right there. It, it kind of makes it uh, pop more. And I just feel like it really makes the sans eye a little bit better. So... Yeah, that's now this is where uh, I should end the tutorial. However, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of an extra step that I do, uh, especially in some of my more professional edits. I'll put up some pictures right now. Um, what I like to do is uh, I like to go into my brushes. Now, this is just this is a little advanced, so you don't really have to do this. However, if you want uh, an extra, you know, sort of detail to it, I would suggest doing this. So we're going to se uh, select a brush. Uh, it doesn't really matter what brush you pick. Just you want one of these sort of square looking brushes. These are the default Photoshop brushes, so it doesn't matter. This is the one that I like picking usually. Uh, the Flat Fan High Bristle Brush or Bristle Count. Uh, we're going to pick one of these brushes. This is like the sort of effect it gives off, right? Uh, we're going to make a new layer. Make sure you're not on the blue layer before because then you'll get a, a whole new uh, 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 glow to it. And we're going to make sure we're a different blue. I usually like to go a little bit lighter uh, for this tutorial's sake. Well, not lighter really, but like just make sure you switch up the blue so that it's a different blue. Um, let's go with a little bit of a darker blue. We're going to turn down the uh, opacity to about like 60, something like that. And you're just going to check. That's perfect. Um, we're going to turn down the brush size so that the brush is about the width of the eye. Like that's too big right there. You want to make sure you get it uh, three. That's a little bit small. Um, let's try out f uh, four. All right, that's perfect right there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a little bit of a whoop. There you go. So you want to get the right motion down, but af after you do that, you should get this sort of effect. And what I also like to do sometimes for extra detail, I like to just do a different, a few different blues, and I just like to go over it again. Um, however, when you do this, you also do want to make sure that you turn down the opacity again, because once you layer these opacities, it's going to start to cover up the eye. So there you go. Um, you have this little detail now. And then what I like to do is I like to go in with an eraser tool. Uh, and then I'm gonna I keep the opacity up and I'm just gonna sharpen up the edge of that little uh, blue trail right there so as you can see we have this sort of effect now and now he has a little bit of a, a sort of flame trail and that's uh, the sort of effect we're going for here and you could always add a little bit of a glow to it like if I went into my settings here and added an outer glow however um, I for t I really don't like that when I do my pictures I just like to keep it uh, plain like that and I think it still looks good enough and yeah uh, that's basically it, you know, when I would make an edit like this, I would always do a, a little bit of an extra step, especially on posters like this, where I would do a color right here, and I'd grab a color off this, and I'd just make my brush up size, you know, and I'd cover this up right here. This is, this is extra stuff, but we already did the sans eye, so you don't really need to know, uh, this extra step, but, uh, yeah, we'd just take that, and then we'd just grab our text tool out, and then we grab a right font. I like the, uh, Comic Sans font. So we're going to grab Comic Sans. Get it? Comic Sans. I didn't even realize that. That's perfect. Perfect for the tutorial. And we're just going to write uh, Sans. Great. Now that we have Sans written, we're just going to drag it to the center. Uh, switch the color so it's a little bit more pop-ish. Uh, uh, text colors up here. I would like a blue color for this tutorial. And there you go. That's how you make a Sans edit uh, in Photoshop. Uh, again, guys, you could apply all these rules to other uh, photo editing softwares. However, I prefer to use Photoshop just because of the uh, wide range of tools they have and just um, how much easier it is to get the sort of effects you want with uh, what Photoshop has. But that's the tutorial, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, 
you know, uh, this is something I've been doing for a while, so I just wanted to share some of my techniques uh, with you guys who might be who might be wanting to do something like this but just don't know how to and want that sort of professional look in your edits. And yeah, uh, that's it, guys. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching.